This video is being brought to you by Cutting Edge Gamer. If you upgrade graphics cards often, Cutting Edge Gamer is the perfect option for you. Lease the newest graphics cards on the market such as Nvidia's RTX 20 series for a low monthly payment. Click the affiliate link below in the description to find out more. Switch Mini, Switch Mini, Switch Mini, bum bum bum. Skip it up and that up. So yes, I'm going to talk about more Switch Mini rumors because I'm actually kind of psyched for this console. I think Switch Mini is going to do good things business-wise for Nintendo. And I think there's a market out there, not just a younger market, but a market that wants a more portable Switch that will just open up the doors for the console and Nintendo will finally achieve that goal of multiple Switches per home. So... I'm excited for this from a personal level because I mostly play my Switch in portable mode and I'm going to get one and I'm excited for it for Nintendo because I think it's going to help expand the Switch in terms of its audience big time. So Nintendo Switch revision rumors have been circulating the internet since basically the original Switch launch back in March of 2017. The Wall Street Journal said they had credible sources saying that a revision of the Switch was coming, whether it be the Switch Pro or Switch Mini. And ever since then, the rumors have accelerated. Now we have accessory companies like Hansan. I did a video on that, them showing off Switch Mini accessories. Then they try to take a step back and say, uh, we were just speculating on it. Why would you actually design accessories on speculation? Come on, you know the Switch Mini is coming and you wanna make sure you have the accessories out there to make money off of them. Nintendo themselves, they didn't disavow the rumors of the Switch Mini. They were like, oh, we don't want to disappoint investors. We want to have it be a surprise and we're always working on new hardware. Now look, if they weren't working on a Switch Mini, they would have just said, no, we're not coming out with a new console. Like, it just we're gonna focus on the Switch and that's it. But they didn't say that. So that's like basically Nintendo saying yes. And I just did a video recently where a Spanish retailer to Spanish arm of game, they're mostly known in the UK, they leaked Switch Mini accessories as well. So something's coming. There's no way all of these companies could be making mistakes. There's no way all of these credible sources like the Wall Street Journal are just making this up. We're getting a miniaturized console and now I have even more information proving that the Switch Mini is probably gonna be announced any day now. Another company, Big Ben, showed off a Switch Mini silicon sleeve and here it is, take a look. Now here's a super up close image of the sleeve for the Switch Mini. Um, the interesting thing you'll note is on the left hand side where you would, or yes, left hand side, I had to think how it would hold my Switch, where you expected there to be a D-pad because the Switch Mini doesn't seem like it's gonna have removable Joy-Cons. They just have buttons again, like on the Switch. So I'm hoping that's wrong from Big Ben. I mean, either way, if there's a D-pad there, it'll fit where the four buttons are, but hopefully there's a D-pad. And there, you're looking at the Switch Mini uh, silicon sleeve from them. And here is the actual retail box for this Switch Mini silicon sleeve from Big Ben. And you see in the bottom right hand corner, it says Switch Mini. The weird thing is it says dot two, but it says it's designed for the Switch Mini. So another accessory maker making accessories for the Switch Mini. Nintendo at this point, can you just announce it because people really want it. Now, like I've said in previous videos, Nintendo is probably waiting until August so they could build up hype. So people want to get it for the holiday season. And then I'm sure this holiday season, I can almost guarantee it, we're going to see a Switch Mini on store shelves because they're going to want something to kind of ramp up sales of the Switch, especially because we know that Microsoft's definitely come out with their next gen system next year. And I'm pretty sure Sony's coming out with the PS5 in late 2020 as well. So the Switch Mini is a way to excite people and get the Switch console into more consumers' homes so they could build up a bigger base before the onslaught of next gen consoles come on. And I have a feeling that the Switch Pro will probably be released like summer of next year. So they could kind of have that, be like, hey, we have a more capable Switch now. So they could kind of take a hit at both the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Scarlet sales. I do think, like we heard, we heard that there's three Switch consoles being manufactured right now. There's the original Switch, the supposed Switch Mini, and the supposed Switch Pro. 
think we're going to get the Switch Mini this fall. And I think Nintendo summer of next year is going to release the Switch Pro because, like I said, they want to have something that will compete with Sony and Microsoft's next-gen systems. Now, the last thing I'll say and the last thing I'm hoping for is that the Switch Mini will be $199. I have a feeling that Nintendo is probably going to make it like $229 or something like that. But I'm hoping, and there's a good chance it could be $199 because that'll be more enticing to consumers and more affordable product. I would even take if the Switch Mini couldn't be docked. The fact that it could be docked is still up in the air. Some people are saying it will be able to be docked. Some people are saying it won't be able to be docked. If they get rid of that feature to make the console below $200, I would be okay with that. Because like I said, I use my Switch mostly in portable mode. Once in a while, I'll use it docked, but mostly portable. So we'll see what happens. You know, we're definitely getting a Switch Mini. It's just a matter of when Nintendo will announce it. And like I said, I have a feeling we're going to be getting a Switch Pro this summer of 2020. So Nintendo can have a somewhat competitive product to Microsoft and Sony's next-gen systems. This is Rich of Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one. Thank <music> you.